Hi guys, welcome back to another review of another kit uh, on the channel. Uh, this is Army Models Dairy Flycatcher uh, in 148 scale. Um, let's have a look. Okay, so just uh, get the box out. Pop that there, see what we're doing. Um, box in box type of thing, similar to another Ukrainian kit manufacturer. Um, there you go. So if we just take all the, we'll debag all this, and then we'll come right back to it. So obviously we'll start with the with the instructions. Um, so what we have here is uh, uh, numbered sprues. I bet they're not numbered on the on the on the sprue, but it's obviously numbered in the in the tree here. Uh, it's a tree map, I should say. Um, looks like we've got some photo etch and some resin and maybe some film and a bit more resin so let's have a look we're going to start off with the obviously what's looking like the, <laughs> looking like the engine looks like this is going to be a resin engine and uh, looks like we've got to supply some uh, wire for the valve pushes straight off the bat so it tells you the diameter and the length so we'll check out the spares box for that and then while that will worrying about all this we can jump into the the cockpit framing there are no i'm just having a quick look there are no color call outs for any of this um no no there's nothing in the on the instructions i can see that's that calling out for colors um if you can find references that's going to be the way forward having said that should be pretty easy to work out what these are. I imagine it would be aluminium tubing for frame it, you know, for the framing. Go with that, I'd have imagined. Um, so, relatively, I'll say relatively straightforward. It not that tricky up to now. Uh, cockpit going together. We've got the instrument panel here, which no doubt is um, the film, is it? And then the PE panel uh, that all goes together straight into the fuselage um, which then obviously comes together uh, looks like we've got some rear struts to go in here oh there you are kit right okay that's fine turn over the page okay uh, one piece tire with like the two hubs, looks like that could be okay. Um, just looking at the supply more of our own wire here. These bits are gonna be for under the fuselage. A um, Couple of optional extra things here to watch out for. Uh, struts, looks like we have to make our own cabane struts. Into plane struts, what they, that they've got proper um, locating points we'll check that out on the plastic uh, the guns going on here looks like it's P is that P for the gun and then the top wing comes together on there and then the engine which is obviously we've already already made up <laughs> uh, goes on the front and there's a basic rigging diagram again references is probably the way forward on that um, well there's not actually that much rigging to be honest with you although they are double rigged here so that'd be that'd, that'd be great but apart from are they double rigged or is that just a that's just, again I think we need to check that um, I wouldn't trust this because I'm not sure whether that's double rigged mm, check that okay uh, well according to that look not too bad we'll have a quick look at the the P in the decals I think if I just get this out quickly da, 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 da. obviously I won't remove the P fret from the from its card uh, I don't want to lose anything uh, let me show you not being uh, whited out there so here's your P fret uh, feels relatively thin and um, there's the instrument panel looks quite nice there's the back of the instrument panel there obviously they sandwich together with there must be some film somewhere we'll look out for that um, we've got some um, we've got any lots of 
there's a frame in for the windscreen um, <coughs> excuse me I can't see any seat belts on here you know hmm that's a bit of a disappointment no seat belts hmm okay it's a gun sight though no, no seat belts uh, throttle quadrant uh, more throttle quadrant stuff um, yeah that's a mm, no seat belts bit of a disappointment on that one but other than that uh, a relatively busy PE frame here are the decals uh, nice and colorful oh there's that bit of film there's the bit of film there like if I put it on the back of there like. that's not too bad you would cut that out and obviously sandwich it in between the, the instrument panel and then there's a uh, bits of glaze in there look for the um, for the windscreen don't lose that one um, looks like we have plenty of options for the actual aircraft itself um, it looks like we've got uh, for the tires we've got some decals for the tires um, Palmer cord aero type um, rounders look nice and bright the fin flashes look okay although I've got a scratch on mine nuisance um, and then we've got that I wonder if that is a that's either an add-on decal sheet <clears throat> which they forgot, forgot to put in on this sheet or a correction um, bands are nice and colorful um, everything's in register I'll say that that red on that little square looks like it might have drifted off offline a little bit perhaps and very flat you're not going to know what they're like obviously until you get them wet and start using them but um, they look quite nice actually we talked about schemes briefly earlier you we get in looks like we're getting um, excuse me looks like we're getting let's have a look one two three uh, four five six different schemes to choose from fantastic um, here are the top and bottom scheme uh, top and bottoms of, of all six lovely oh, let's come in here we can get that all in the frame there that looks really nice um, this is the earliest one let's see which is the earliest one looks like the earliest one could be four or five flight from Fu HMS Furious 1924 going right up to first battle squadron uh, at HMS Ramleys uh, 1931 that's quite nice although I do like the blue it's matching that blue um, to the decal I guess or maybe you don't that looks like actually you don't to be honest looks like that's all painted in it is that's all painted and then you get a, a white ten and a white framing or crumbs. I'll give that one a miss, I think. <laughs> uh, very nice too. Uh, generally, uh, all silver, of course. Even the silver, silver and black one's quite nice. Uh, it's all silver. We have got the only bit of colour call out is on is on for the general schemes and Humbrol, Hattaka, and the, the AK real colours. Uh, but that pure merrily is just dealing with the colours on the airframe rather than any internal colours whatsoever uh, yeah none okay uh, very colourful very nice indeed we may well start with the uh, well might as well start with the, with the fuselage uh, well straight off um, <sighs> cockpit the cockpit the plastic seems it reminds me of something I can't think what it is um, First of all, nothing on the internal of the fuselage. It's quite flashy. Um, it feels quite, I don't know what it feels like. Uh, wheel hubs there, look, looks like they'll do something there. The tires, let's give that a run over around with a sand in stick, should be okay. There is raised detail here, raised like little rivets, which is quite nice, which is very nice actually. That's not too bad at all. The plastic will need a bit of tension to, to it though. Some of it is quite highly polished 
and obviously like inside the ribs here it, 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 it's a bit not <laughs> uh, want of a better word um, these ta horizontal stabilizers are they uh, this one seems okay this this one to me looks like it's a mismold because that's very very thin indeed and that one isn't that's a mismold there look and that is a shame if I go up to the light yeah you can see right through that one uh, miss mold on that one obviously didn't get enough uh, plastic in the um, pump through the runner there no, that's a shame but apart from that it's not too bad so two sprues of wings uh, this is going to be the main uh, the main top and bottom wing again we've got nice detail um, like a like a like a rivet on the ribs uh, there is a funny little I don't wonder that or I think it's just in the plastic hopefully that the uh, primer will get rid of that there's like a funny little yeah it's like where the um, like where it's been injected out of the mold perhaps or something to do with the molding process or maybe where it's been where it squirts into the uh, into the mold the plastic itself perhaps it's left like a little tram line um, other than that uh, location point for the um, for the struts looks quite deep uh, underside of the top wing yeah it looks quite deep and oh, there's more of this silly little you know, I don't know I don't know whether you can see that uh, I think you probably can't actually a bit annoying uh, hopefully the pr this primer will cover that um, it's not very big I've got to say that looking at the Vincent over there remember the Vincent 172 Azure Vincent I completed uh, it's bigger than this and this is 148 so the flycatcher was a, was a, was a small little aircraft I haven't said that though the Vincent <laughs> is bloody enormous um, this is going to be the Aerolons we've got look like rudder here um, more stuff for the tail plane um, again it's got the this nice raised ribbon riveting uh, detail does want clean up that sprue's not too bad at all actually uh, yeah we can we can work with both we can probably work work with both of that these sort of um, these sprues here Final plastic sprue. Um, we've got obviously a bit more of the. Uh, is that the rudder? Um, oh, I don't know. Anyway, it's got this um, this, this riveting uh, raised stuff. Uh, but um, I've got the prop there. Wants a bit of work. So the two props to choose from. Looks like it. There's the boss for it. That's going to want a bit of clean up. The uh, struts look okay. Um, they have. Oh, why did they do that? Look, see where the. Uh, you can see this is the framing of the cockpit. Look. The attachment points to the sprues are quite big, which is annoying. Um, but it's also attached to the. on both sides. To the to the struts, so you can see exactly what's going to go happen here. You cut one off, and you end up going to crease in, crease in the other one, the other part, and likewise at the top here. That's bloody annoying. Why don't you do that? Other than that, <laughs> other than that, it's um, relatively delicate. Other than that, it looked not too bad at all. Um, parts for the internal and the framing up oh, probably go together okay, actually. Need to set it out properly so it's nice and square. Um, very small parts here. I believe we've got a bag of resin. Uh, we'll get some of it out. We're going to get it all out because there's going to be bits that, that come flying out of it. I don't know, sort of relatively, relatively, relatively in one piece. Um, engine, uh, part of the engine detail here. Go to the cylinders. Uh, yeah, I mean that looks like it will go together okay. Nicely detailed. Um, yeah, that should be all right. 
very flashy, obviously. Um, but they should go together okay. A bit of super glue. Uh, get them lined up, that should be fine. Here we've got some of the, uh, so the, the, the guns here. Very flashy, very delicate. <sighs> Crumbs. Uh, and this could well be stuff for the engine as well. Very delicate, very flashy, difficult to, uh, to remove from the block, casting block, as is these parts here. Very delicate. Oh dear. But um, nothing that we um, nothing that we can't manage <laughs> with any luck. Well, there you go. There's Army Models Flycatcher, a short run kit from um, U the Ukraine. Um, relatively not straightforward, um, I would say. You don't make the mistake of buying your favourite nephew a uh, uh, when he says, "Oh no, I want a flycatcher for my birthday," and come home with the fairy flycatcher from Army Models. It probably means the a. Um, a fly catcher that eats flies, but the plant maybe I don't know. Um, oh, look at that! Looking at this, there is double ring in there, so it was right. So that was going to be interesting to do. Anyway, um, lovely schemes within this kit. Um, it's going to be difficult, I'd imagine, relatively difficult to build. Certainly nothing for beginners, um, but with a bit of patience um, and a bit of time. It's not a kit's kit you want to rush, rush. Um, you should get a lovely uh, rendition of a very, very pretty aeroplane indeed. If you've made it this far, thank you very much. Uh, please um, think about subscribing to the channel and, and click the bell button because um, then I can notify you on all my output. That's something to look forward to. Uh, thanks guys, we'll see you on the next one.